Hi, I'm Jared Cash, and welcome to the first video in Mike and I series, The Top 10 Marketing Mistakes Most Businesses Make. Now, I can't tell you how important it is to know these mistakes, because by knowing them and then avoiding them, you can make a big difference in your bank account. Now, don't feel bad if you identify with most of these as we're going through them. The truth is, I'm proud to say I've made every single one of these mistakes at some point in my business career. So let's go ahead and get started with mistake number one, and that's being an advertising victim. It's real easy to be an ad victim. Let me tell you a little story. My dad is an entrepreneur. He's owned his own business now for more than 30 years. He's got an auto repair shop. When I was a kid, I used to work for him there. As I got a little bit older, I started getting involved with some of the decisions down there when it came to the marketing. Now this was before I knew anything at all about advertising a business. We'd had a bad year, we decided we needed to increase our advertising. We were going to do our yellow page ad three times the size. So the ad representative comes down, we tell the lady what we need to do. We need more business. We want a half page ad in the phone book. We went with the works, we got color, we got graphics, and we got the big ad. So the lady took our information and they sent it off to their graphic design department and in a couple weeks we got our proof. Now we looked at it, we thought it looked pretty good, it had our business name right at the top, it had all our information, it had our business hours, it had this great graphic of uh, what I'd call a soccer mom in the ad and there was a minivan full of little kids waving and it just we thought it looked great so we gave the ad the thumbs up and they sent it back uh, you know to their department a few months later phone books come out we're excited first thing we do is we flip to the auto repair section and we look for our ad we find it and we're shocked we're blown away because, yep, we've got the bottom section on a half page, and right above us, the other ad on the half page, is the exact same ad. It's the same graphic. It's the same soccer mom. It's the same minivan full of little kids. In fact, the only difference is the business information. Different company, different phone numbers, etc. So we're freaked out. We call the ad rep right away, and we tell him what's going on. And get this. This is what he says. I'm really sorry, but we have no control whatsoever about ad placements in the phone book. And as far as the ad goes, that is the advertisement that you proofed and you gave the thumbs up for. So the short end of it, we paid $850 a month for a year. That's $10,200 to run that ad. You know how many leads we could trace back to it? Zero. Nothing. We were advertising victims. Now the fact is, even if the ad hadn't been the same as the one above it, we wouldn't have got any business off it anyways. Because when ad reps come around, they sell image branding advertising versus direct response advertising. Now the difference you can tell in the name alone. Image branding is what you see from Coca-Cola, McDonald's, the Goodyear blimp. It operates on the theory that uh, they tell you when someone needs your services or your product, uh, they'll think of you because they've seen your name so many times. Uh, that's a great strategy if you're a major company and you have a ton of money, but as a small business owner, if you fall victim to this idea, you will go broke. The only thing that you can afford to do as a small business owner is emotional direct response advertising. That's the kind of advertising where every single dollar that you spend is measurable and accountable. You can learn more about direct response advertising if you visit Mike and I's website. You'll see the web address right below. We'll see you next time when Mike comes with part two of the top ten marketing mistakes most businesses make.